we continue to highlight a degree of pent-up demand from the iPhone installed base ahead of the major iPhone 8 super cycle, Credit Suisse's Coolbinder Garacha said in a recent note. In all, we believe the device is likely to be significantly supply constrained at launch, though, we expect robust demand within the installed base, Mizuho Securities Managing Director of Research for the Americas, Abhay Lomba, wrote in a recent note. OLED, or organic light emitting diodes, displays are known for their super color saturation versus the traditional LED panels, and could serve as a big reason for users to upgrade their devices. What's more, rumors point to the next iPhone having an edge-to-edge -edge display, meaning the screen will have a significantly slimmer bezel than its other handsets. But with supplies of the OLED panel reportedly constrained, the iPhone 8 might not go on sale until October with volume shipments going out in November or December rather than September, according to RBC analyst Amit Darianani. Still, Credit Suisse's Garka says that the delay won't impact the iPhone 8S super cycle and has given the stock an outperform rating with a price target of $170, up from $152. Not all analysts believe the upcoming iPhone will have a drastic impact on the company's stock price. In fact, Lomba believes the stock price is already benefiting from the 8S upgrade super cycle. Outside of hints about the next generation iPhone, analysts will also be watching for the average selling price, ASP, of units of the current iPhone. A higher ASP means that more customers are opting for the high-end iPhone 7 Plus, which starts at $769 versus the base iPhone 7, which starts at $649. Lomba predicts that ASP will be down versus the previous quarter as more consumers decide to hold off on buying the iPhone 7 Plus in anticipation of the iPhone 8. More from Dan, email Daniel at Dowley at, follow him on Twitter at, at Daniel Howley.